Hey, how's it going? Hope everybody's doing really good today. <clears throat> My name's Lucky. The channel's Game On, where we just keep on gaming on. <clears throat> we got more Dragon's Dogma, Dark Arisen today. We did our first live stream oh, a couple days ago. This is our second live stream. We're going to try to go three or four hours on this one. Last one was just a couple hours to make sure everything worked fine, and it did. So we'll try to do three or four hours here, which is a huge chunk for me because I usually don't ever get that much time to play straight. Usually I'm working too much or I've got stuff to do or I'm just trying to spend time with my kids and all that stuff I love doing. But it's going to be real nice to have a nice four-hour chunk here. So what we're doing <clears throat> in this episode, we're about, oh, three-quarters of the way through the main story, so we decided to come over here to Bitter Black Isle, which is the DLC content of Dark Arisen which is the difference between Dark Arisen and the original release. You have this DLC called Bitter Black Isle. And basically this uh, island is full of old Arisen. Everybody here was an Arisen at one point, and so the fairy lady came to Casardis, where we started off in our original village, and ferried us over here. She's also an Arisen, but she doesn't have any memory. <clears throat> So we're kind of walking through here, fighting really hard monsters. I haven't fought a single boss here because they've all been too hard. Uh, I need to come back at a later level, probably. Um, which we will, and fight him again. So, everybody here is an Arisen. She's forgotten her memory. There's some voice, very demonic voice, that we heard when we got our first Void Key. As soon as we picked it up, it started talking to us by the Gore Cyclops, which was gnarly. I'm not sure who that is, but I'm pretty sure he's the antagonist in this whole Bitter Black Isle DLC. So we're going to find out what's going on here. <clears throat> we found various items we're curious about, sacred idols, uh, different things. And we're going to see exactly what this story entails. We're going to do as much of it as we can right now. If we can't complete it, we're going to go finish the main quest, and then we'll come back and do it at a later level. <clears throat> because I don't think we'll be able to complete it. Whoa. What the hell? What the hell? Oh god. Instant blindness. <laughs> Man, things are getting really hard. We're starting to have to just straight up run. Like, I had to just run through that last spot. It was too gnarly. So which one of these cures blindness? Let me see. Oh, shit. Most physical debilitations just take... Ah, but that's a magical one. Damn it. Damn it. Well. I don't have any eye drops. I have none. That sucks. <sighs> yeah, you guys have. Uh, let's just run. No, let's just run. Because we're not going to really be able to do much, guys. Come on. You guys are blind. I'm not strong enough. Run. Oh. One of them's dead, though. Okay. So we got to drop some stuff here. We do have a moonbeam gem. We can go use that. And we do have all these. So what we really, really need to do is travel back. Even though we're this far, I really don't want to. What do I have that's heavy that I can get rid of? I mean, I have two of these. Let's discard one of those. We can actually discard both of those because we get the ability to buy those later. We don't need to have those on us. Even though that didn't do anything. God. <clears throat> so I... I don't even know if I can do any damage. No, not at all. Yeah, I know. Let's roll. So we're gonna get our guys and we're gonna fast travel back and get light again. Then we're gonna travel and do the moon gem, and we'll go to a different section of here. On my way. Yeah, on your way. Let's. Uh... I hope we don't lose lose Casca. I'm gonna give him a curative. Let's have 
Okay, so let's travel out of here. Wait, where are my lift stones? It scared me for a minute. I don't think I have any lift stones left. So we have pressed on. This is like the fourth level or something like that. He's a poor crystal. <clears throat> I consider this Bitter Black Isle DLC and this whole dungeon to be like the Chalice Dungeons, where it's just level after level after level. They're all a little bit different and very unique. Oh, hey. It's slow work, but I've been endeavoring to remember more about myself. It seems I, too, was one link to the world by fate. Yeah, she was an Arisen, too. In my questing, I came to this place, yet... The will of some other entity took hold of me and bound me here. Hmm. The words I spoke begging your aid were not mine, but theirs. Beyond that is still a haze. So interesting. So as we go deeper, I imagine we're going to find more and more of her quest story. May we discover myself and recall my true purpose here. I shall aid your journey in any way I can, and pray that our goals both lie together. For now, my course is unchanged. First of all, let's purify some of this awesome stuff we got. Oh, that armor. Let's see what that is. Now nah, we'll start with the lowest one. So we only got one of those. Wait, wait. One of those. Let's do these two. Novelties. Scroll of recuperation has been purified. Hastens the speed with which you recover lost health from curative magic and healing springs. Mage's ring has been purified. This item enhances the following weapon skills. Hide, anodyne, and anodyne. Okay, those are eh. Yeah. Whoops. <clears throat> okay. For now, my course is Let's do the last one here. Ooh, assault boots. Common boots with a rather uncommon pair of spiked knee pads. As useful in an argument gone awry as in full combat. For now, my course is unchecked. Pray, take. Oh, wait, they're in storage, I forget. You gotta, uh. My hope is that I shall. For now, my course is. If there is aught I can. Go in here and pull them out. In the boots. If there is aught. For now, my pray. Take care. Pray. Take care. Um. Oh, yeah, look at those. Magic minus three, but strength plus 27. Magic defense minus 10, but everything else is pretty buff. A couple of lower resistances. Straight up, I think we're putting them on. Look at them, they look gnarly. That's awesome, guys. That's the first really good piece my of armor we found in a long time. Rediscover my I shall aid your journey. For now, my course is under. <clears throat> I can do. Yeah, you can take all this crap. I've been hauling around. I don't want to carry that rancid bait meat. That made that thing come after me. Oh, I, I mean, a lot of this stuff I really need. What is that? Ancient slate. Yeah, I'll quest stuff. it down a little bit, but I mean, still. All our weight is wrapped up in these damn potions and items and everything. Anyways. If there is aught I can do, say. for now my course is unchanged. I shall help as I am able. Pray, take... Okay, so, let us rest here for a moment. Whoops. <clears throat> then we're going to go travel back down there. We're going to use those skeleton keys, see if we can open those doors <clears throat> that we found down there. Shall we rest before pressing on? <sighs> Just 
just gotta break the nearby chests, nearby barrels. I'll wait till she's a tail to tell. Yeah, well, she started saying it finally. Monument of Remembrance. Crumbling letters etched upon a stone, indecipherable. Yep. It will be eventually. I bet you eventually it will be. So, <clears throat> we went one way off of what I consider to be the main hub in here. The main hub is past all these dogs, but we're just gonna beat these dogs up and get to it. Hide is through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Arrow from heaven for you, buddy. And we're, we're, we're strong enough now to actually do some damage to these guys. Get off of her. Get off her. Yeah, we're just, oh yeah, we're pretty, we're working pretty good here. Rift Crystal Spec. We have tried. We gotta keep the lights on because we're gonna need them all. <clears throat> so restore your health. Hold on. So I consider this to be a little bit of the anti chamber here before the main little spot, and that's the first spot where you meet. Uh, I can't remember his name. The other arisen running around down here with us, who's trying to sell us stuff all the time. But. Gotta give this to him so he can not be poisoned anymore. There we go. And your reels are I'll dispel the enemies. I mean, we're level 40. For some reason, I was running around thinking we're level 30 something. So. We can we can bang around here a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Double ninja start him. What's up? Whoa. Whoa. If I get out of jail, bro. Oh. That's just so sick how you can just ninja over him with that double jump and then hit him in the back and stagger him. I mean, that is, for 2012, that is brilliant combat. Let's get your rift flakes, get your crystals. And let's go down here. So your Hold Thank on. you. I think we have one wake stone also. I think we found three shards down here. The keener eye center, Alice, or summit like it. Yeah, that eyeball is going to be kind of like one of the points right there. That we're going to know when we're strong enough is when we beat that thing. And once we beat that thing, I think we'll be able to bang around here quite a bit. Helping others is the maker's work, friend. <coughs> not leave it to him and busy yourself with staying alive. I'm not the sort to take directions, besides. I'll go where I please. Now, will you have a look? Yeah, have a look at my, at my stuff here. Well, at least get him up a little bit. 40,000, though. Holy cow. We're gonna have to start selling some stuff here. Now, will you have a look? I'll see you down the river. What'll it be? No, I don't want to manage. You have a do you have anything new to buy? <clears throat> do you have anything for blindness? He has secret softener. We're gonna take all five of those from him. Wait. I need some eye drops or something. He's got three of those. Oh, well, that's cool, but that's not, that's expensive. Gosh, that's expensive too. Man. I mean, it's all expensive. <clears throat> then there are any new items. No, no die. So I've got this moon gem. And I think it opens these doors down and around here. What's this guy? Harp's Blood Juice? Cool. So, we're gonna go up in the top left, I think. <clears throat> Where we jumped and found that one. 
Gosh, we run so much faster when we're on average rather than heavy. It makes a huge difference on encumbrance. Your movement speed, your stamina, everything's so much easier at each level. Oops. We'll go in there eventually here too. Oh, the snakes. Hell off me. So is it there? This looks interesting. So these moon gems open all these kind of doors. They have a circle in them. I bet there's a lot of them because there's like five doors in this one hub. Ring of desiccation. And the free spoken earring. Okay. A ring imbued with a mysterious power it encases its wearer in a waterproof membrane, putting an immediate end to the drenched debilitation. That is so sick, so you could never get drenched. What do I have before? Daggerous ring? Yeah, we're switching. That is so cool. So we'll never get wet now. Our lantern will always work. That is so cool. Man! That was totally worth it. Excuse <coughs> me. So, obviously we always want to keep our eye out for more of those. Now, which way did we go last time? Did we go this way? Oh, there's a chest right there. How did I not see that? Sleeper arrow, cute. Now, did we go down here last time? We did, we opened that with the void key. We're gonna go up top this time. Because we've got the great eyeball down there. We've got the gore cyclops the other way. You know, down in that door, we've got the gore cyclops. Down through that door, we open with the void key. We've got the giant eye. And so this is the other way off of this main hub section that I found. If anybody knows any other ways, shoot me a comment there in chat and see. See if I can find it. Oh, what's this over here? This looks like a totally different way. Ah! This one would have been sick to use it on too. But I'm happy with what we got. There's just another one over there that we know about now. It's up here. I think a lot of those sacred statues, we found one of them. I think they're gonna, get off me snakes. I think they're gonna be up on top on a pie like that. Oh God. How hard are these guys gonna be? Let's find out. Snatch up any cup you break free. Monsters arisen. Ready yourself. Oh God, we're gonna whoop these guys so bad. Look at this. This move is is just like OP. You must strike hard to. Why does it work so well on Cyclopses, but those guys are it's having a hard time? A Cyclops! I am the strongest. Good! It's lost its cuddle! I shall take it. I'm just gonna do this. Oh god. What is it? I, I forget what this arrow even is. Come on, any time. Oh no. What the? They killed both of them? What the hell? A moment's distraction from Prince Fable! and its cousins! No! They hold the advantage! Dude! Oh, you know what? That was me sacrificing my pawn. That move was unbelievable. Look how strong this guy is. What the hell? Holy shit. So, we gotta remember, that sacrifice is my pawn. So that's why there's so many of those rip crystals here, and so many of those rip fragments that we had to put together for those rip portals. 
Jesus Christ, we're getting destroyed, Jesus. Fuck. Right, this is unbelievable how strong these guys are. Raw teams down. We gotta go get them up. We need everybody, all hands on deck here. Light them up, light them up. These guys are still alive. I mean, look at this. this is look at them. They're each worth a thousand experience, so I think there's five of them. So there's about 15,000 experience here in this room. Between those two ogres and these guys. Now, last time I came down here, I was level like 50 or 60, and there was three dragons. Uh, I was like, what the hell? I mean, these little problems are destroying us. I did. That, that, that was the only way. Was to get magic and stuff like that involved because they're too strong otherwise. Okay. That was probably honestly the easiest I've ever had it in this room. This room is the, what is it called? The round of Rotunda of Dread. Yeah, like I say, you come down to those different bosses, and you can summon different bosses. What? Oh, you're still alive, huh? Wow. Blood to cancer. That's a new item. I'm taking it. Your well, thank you. These ogres didn't drop anything? Huh, okay. Throat and the Cleansing earring. There's just shit everywhere. King Warish. Man, you want to start stacking stuff for the last fight in the game, you want to come over here and just start racking it up. Fitter Black Gear, level one. We'd love to see it. What's this? Love to see it. Okay. There's no Moonbeam gems down here? There's got to be one somewhere here. Lucky is the point. The arisen side. I'm thankful. Oh, macabre sculpture. Look at all these. Treasure belt. Wakestone shards. That's two wakestone shards here. Large coin purse. Celebrus brew. Keep an eye on these pawns. They grab shit before you can. Oof. Yep. Your footing well. Your voice is so high. <clears throat> so let's go up here and we'll try to jump around. Jump around. Let's see. Where we can get to here. So there's a chest over there. Terribly done. That was a weird spot right there. I don't know why that happened. Anytime. Golden ring. All these rings and treasures. A fetching ring of pure gold. Valuable and pleasing to the eye, but useful only as a personal adornment. Okay. Cleansing ring. Heightens resistance to poison. 
So I guess that gold ring is just like a random spawn in the chest there. Oh, and there's more. Look, if you didn't have double jump, this would be so hard. I don't even know if you could do some of it. Bitter Black Novelty, level one. How sweet it is. Okay, and there's no way out of here except the way we came in. So let's giddy on up. We'll go to the next section. That was kind of nice. We got, came down here, got a bunch of good items. A bunch of wake stone shards and everything. A lot of useful stuff. no moonbeam gems in there, though. I thought for sure there would be one, you know? A grim goblin is what those are called. Okay, well, they are certainly grim. Certainly. Over here. Uh huh. Platinum ring. Rings everywhere. A stylish ring of pure platinum, valuable and pleasing the eye, useful only as personal adornment. Huh. So I wonder if there's something you gotta do where you put both those on at some point and activate something. We'll find out later. It'll make itself obvious. Oh, uh-huh, we like caves and hidden away treasures. Balmy incense, wake stone shard, look at that. Now we got two wake stones, we found all those just in Bitter Black Isle. So that's six shards we found so far. <laughs> look at what she parkours on like nothing. Okay, let's get down off of here. Nice. Another one of those statues. See? Parkour, man. You gotta scale everything and climb everything. Otherwise, you're gonna miss stuff in this game. It's one of the best games for open world exploration that I've ever played. Straight up. Okay, so that led to the Rotunda of Dread. We've got all the moonbeam dorbs here. We're going to make another run down here towards the eye and see if we missed anything. Though I don't uh, really think we did. I think we kind of figured that out. But 